Swarupam of Pattabhirama, Rama who makes his return to Ayodhya. It's so beautiful how Sundra Kanta Parayan is always followed by reading the Rama, Rama Pattabhishek. What is the connection between the two? Because you can skip the entire Yuddha Kanda. You can skip the war between Rama and Ravana. Why? Because Sundra Kanda has the bija of the war. Hanuman coming, saying that all of this is going to be destroyed. Rama is going to kill him. He is going to take Sita back and go. Has already been foretold. So in essence, the Yuddha Kanda is finished with that itself. And the Yuddha Kanda leads to the Pattabhishekam. The return to Ayodhya to see his Raja, to live with them, to remain as their Raja. And this aspect of the Bhaktavishekam, today we have the Bhagyam of performing the Bhaktavishekam for all of you, with all of you, on the Simhasanam. We are no longer on JCO, we are now on Ayodhya. <laughs>
while he received this beautiful heartfelt offering from his brothers, Rama was then adorned with malas. And as he wore those manamalas, and he was resplendent in that kingdom, the Dhyana Murti of this Pattabhirama <coughs> is an extraordinary one because the mala that one ties around him is the Bhakti Mala. Through that Bhakti Mala, you can tie one end of the mala to him, one end to yourself, and you can merge yourself into him. That is the idea of placing a mala around him. And when that mala was placed, he looked extraordinary, so beautiful he looked at that Tyagaraja Swami said, I want to keep seeing this form. which was passed on from king to king. These are all, in many ways, ways of ascertaining the authority not just of the king, but of equating the king to the divine. And in this case, equation is not necessary. The divine only has become the king. So now, when the Pattavishekam goes on, leading up to the Pattavishekam, during the Pattavishekam and after the Pattavishekam, Rama is constantly thinking, what can I do for all those people who have given me and lended me their heart. So for Sukriva he does something. For Vibhishana, he gives him the murti of Ranganatha Swami that he used to worship. And he said, you take this back to Lanka. That same murti got stuck in Sri Ranga. And thanks to Ramachandra's grace, we have Ranganatha. Just six hours away from Bible. That's Swarupam. That offering of love Rama did for him. And everybody he was given, he ensured that he did something or the other for them. So the Pattavishekam, technically came to a close, but nobody got up, because they are like you, very good audiences. <laughs> because there was whispering amongst them, saying, Attavishekar is all over, he gave everybody something, he didn't give Hanuman anything. And this, everybody was keen to see, not because they wanted to gossip, but because they wanted to see, he gave one token of love to everyone, that did something for him. What would he give the person who gave himself only as complete service? Everybody was keen to see this. Rama, fully well aware of everybody's thoughts around him, picked up a mala that he was wearing, a mukta mala. That mukta mala, he took it off, he gave it to Sita, and he said, You find somebody in this sabha who is worthy of receiving this. Because this mala that I am giving you should be worn and should be adorned by somebody who has the qualities of bala, buddhi, yashaha, dhairyam, kirti, rabha, sat buddhi, and so many other qualities he enlists. Sita doesn't have to think even for a second. She immediately takes that mala. And she says, who better for this than Pavana Sutta? And then she places that mala on Anjana Swami. In the Valmiki Ramayana, this is one of the most beautiful moments because Anjana's body shakes with joy. This mala went from Rama to Sita. He is the one who has Sita Rama in his Hridayam. That Sita Rama in his Hridayam now touched that mala and every bead of that mala for him was reminding him of Sita and Rama. And when he, it came onto him, his hair stood on its end. He experienced Sita and Rama within. Up till now, you have seen them outside. Now he saw them within. And this is the idea. That when you experience Bhagavan inside you, when you hear Bhagavan Nam, and you don't know why, but you find tears rolling across your face, you find that your hair is standing on its end. Such a person is 
called as a Maha Anubhava because he experiences Anubhavam, he experiences Bhagavan inside. This Yagaraja Swami said in one statement, Oyam Meera Nadalu Galu Sarasuni Sada Tamila Chochutunu Ulaka Shariru Le Anandu Payoti Nimagnulai Mudambu Nanu Yashamu Galavadu Yandaru Maha Ram Patta Vishakam, correct on you. What did Ram Patta Vishakam end with? Anumat Sanmana. All the Kanda dedicated to Rama, after that Rama came, sat in the Simhasana, over the throne. But Bhagavad Katha ends with Bhakta Sanmana. That is the position that Valmiki and other Vishis gave Bhakti. Saying, when you are a Bhakta, when you are on the path of Bhakti, in that moment, the Lord will become yours. That is the idea of concluding Sri Rama Pattavishekam with Anjaneya Sanman. And when we look at him as that Sundar Murti who takes us straight to Rama, Tumare Bhajan Ram Ko Bhave, because he alone has the capacity to move Rama to tears. And such a Jyoti Anjaneya Swami is that he picks up our Jiva Jyoti and merges it into that Paran Jyoti. And when that merging happens, there is an ultimate feeling of Mangalam and Aishwarya within and without. With such a Ramachandra, the only way to reach him is through the path of Bhakti. We spoke about Pattavirama as eight forms, as eight forms of Omtara. There are also, there is also something beautifully called as Rama Panchayatanam or even called as Rama Pancharatnam. That is, Rama and Sita are one. Bharata, Lakshmana, Shatrughna. These are all the blood derivatives. But it is not Pancharatnam until Anjana Swami joins. To convey this, we use the Pancharatnams of Satguru Tyagaraja Swami this evening. And ultimately, the Murti that you see in front of you, Paramatma in the center, Paramatma Shakti to his left, Vame Bhumisutta. Shakti is on the left, Bhakti is on the right. Bhakti, there are two ways of attaining that Parabrahma. One is you stick to him wherever he goes. That is Lakshman Swami. In the Ramayana, you will see Rama even without others, but never without Lakshman Swami. That is one form of Bhakti. The second form of Bhakti is you take him wherever you go. That is Anjini Swami. <laughs> Shakti, Bhakti, that Ramachandra. We offer the ultimate Mangalam. Ramachandra.